Hello and welcome to episode 14. Anyway, I thought the episode was going to be a little short, but it was like 23 minutes. I'm shooting for like 20 to 30 minutes for per, per episode. Um, so yeah, we're going to push further into the nightmare of Menses. We just killed uh, the bell ringing woman, which is going to save us some effort. Uh, these guys do not become hostile until you encounter three of them in a specific area later. Um, so I'm just not going to bother with them yet. Uh, this is an important item. Yellow backbone. Important chalice material. Okay, um, I'm not sure how well this weapon is going to work against these guys. I know blunt damage is resisted by a good number of enemies in this game, but I'm not sure exactly which ones or how many. I think we just ran past the first couple of those that are actually hostile. I'm not positive, though. Bitch, please. Bonk. Whoa, yeah, there he is. What? Oh, he went under the bullet. He's too strong. So yeah, when you get here, I think there's an item somewhere around here. I don't remember. Whatever, we're ignoring it. Yeah, there it is. That's the item we're ignoring. I don't think it's a chunk. If it is a chunk, we might end up going back for it, but it probably isn't. I don't think it is. Uh, so anyway, up here is the first area where you meet Crodos and Docros. That's crow-headed dogs and dog-headed crows. Bonk. God, I love this weapon. I'm, I'm growing more and more fond of it every day. Uh, so, uh, we're going to get some really useful blood gems here, actually. There are some with, with pretty high percentages. Um, some of the best in the actual main content of the game. Come on. Who's a good boy? Hey, good job. I'm proud of you. Ah, there was another one. Ah, he's eating my feet. Bonk. So, yeah, the, the blood rally on the transformed attacks of this weapon is just atrocious. I believe there's two of them here, yeah. Oh, I missed. I... <laughs> that didn't even look like it hit him, but whatever. I'm not going to complain. So yeah, there's a blood gem we're going to try to get without dying. Uh, we have enough for one level, but... I'll, I'll risk it, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I can't remember how you get this. Is it roll? Do you roll or do you run? I can't remember. No, apparently you run. Alright, cool. So we've got that now. We just opened the shortcut to one of the lamps. Um, and I believe we are about to fight Mikolash, the host of the nightmare. Um, he's a dick. But we're going to try and give him the business anyway. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, um, he's got buddies. Oh, buddies that we can apparently delete from existence with relative ease. Oh, I missed! That's not good. Oh, I forgot, these things can't, uh, you don't, you don't get blood rally for hitting those guys, so. Yeah, that's worth noting. I skipped the cutscene, sorry. I don't... Which way did he go? This way? You can mostly ignore these guys in here. It's... They're not... Hello, friend. Ah, come back, friend. Ah, oh, I remember now. He's pretty hard to hit. If you're a cooperator, it's not actually that hard to hit him because, like, latency prevents him from moving as fast as he's supposed to. Or prevents him from turning as fast as he's supposed to. So you can you can land hits on him. Uh, 
Uh, those puppet monster things are not very aggressive, but when they do attack you, they will deal a large, large amount of damage. So, like, you don't necessarily have to try and fight them all, because if you do, they'll just come back. Um, but you definitely don't, like, try to run through without even keeping an eye on them, because... Oh, I missed. If you if you let them hit you, you'll take a lot of damage, and some of them can do like counterattacks. Oh, God damn it! I keep bungling the uh, running R ones. Okay, so now we got to be extra careful. He's not super aggressive in this phase, but he does have the uh, Augur of Ebrietus, and it does a lot of damage when he uses it. So we'll be trying to avoid that desperately. Uh, he doesn't use it in the smartest ways ever. Oh, I'm surprised that did not kill me. Oh, I forgot. So, okay. When he uses the auger in multiplayer, it will hit your cooperators twice because of a strange latency issue that seems to be, like, legitimately omnipresent. And cooperators, if you look closely at his auger when it comes out of his arm there actually is two augers happening simultaneously. It's very strange. Um, but yeah, it will it will hit you twice, and it will deal damage twice. So if your health is reduced by 70%, it's entirely possible that it will just fuck you over. Also, he likes to moan a lot. I'm not sure what his fucking deal is, but he's a weirdo. Fuck you. Just run up on me like you somebody. Oh, I thought that would break his armor, but it didn't. Okay, these guys are resistant to blunt damage, it seems. They are also dead. Shut up, Mikolash. I'm trying to play a video game. So, this part... You want to aggro the big one and move backwards so that the little one cannot shoot you. The little one moves extremely slowly or doesn't move at all. I'm not actually sure. But my point is... Oh, fuck off, bitch. Kidney, please. So yeah, once that one's dead, you can literally just walk past this guy and beat the shit out of him. Yeah, he's, he's easy pickings. After you beat up Big Bertha. So, uh, that is the second moon rune. There are two moon runes that come, or the remaining two moon runes come from the Nightmare of Mensis. That is the first one, located in this boss fight, where you just saw me grab it. The second one comes from the brain, um, which is why you, uh, it's actually the reason why we needed to collect that gesture in the Upper Cathedral Ward. Um, you basically do that gesture at the brain for like 30 seconds to a minute or something. Ooh, ow! I was trying to rally back as much health as possible. Uh, there's a bloodstone chunk hiding around here somewhere, and I'm going to try to grab it. I wonder if I can cheese this boss. I'm actually going to try to, because I think my pistol is like plus six, which means it might actually work. So he's going to zippity-doo into this mirror. Um, you want that to happen. That is, that is beneficial to us. Um... So when he goes through the mirror, he comes out down there. Um, so this is where the cheese can begin. Um, what you do is you get your bone ash. Where's my bone ash? Okay, there we go. So you get your bone ash, you lock onto him, you uh, use it. And you shoot him. That's it. Basically, every time you hit him, he'll teleport back into that mirror. So... <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, we're not doing absorbently high damage with these, but whatever, it'll be fine. Uh, we're going to get as much damage as we can. If you're like a Blood Tinge build and you do this with an Evelyn or a Repeating Pistol, um, the results are hilarious. You absolutely can kill him with this strategy. Um, I've also heard you can cheese him with Poison Knives, but I don't think I've ever actually tried that. Oh, no. No, it doesn't work. He's gone, actually. What the fuck? Huh. Okay. So, yeah. I guess you can't cheese him with poison knives anymore. Um, I've got Exe gloves. I might be able to hit him with that. But I don't know where the fuck he went, so... I guess I'll try to find him real quick first. Did he already go this way? I'm going to see if he went in here. Where did you go, McCullish? Okay, so no, he didn't go. Where the fuck did he go? I'm confused. Oh, he's back. Okay, that was weird. What does a regular bullet do? 16! Okay, so we're not going to be killing him with regular bullets. That's just not going to happen. Maybe that'll work. 54. That's pretty abysmal. Um, so I guess we have to fight him for real now. That seems like uh, that's what's going to happen. Let's see if a Maltov does anything. Oh, 111. It's not bad. Either way, I guess we'll just try and hit him with a sweeping into or a plunging attack now. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, so he goes in there and closes the door, right? Yeah. Okay, so now begins the actual legitimately difficult part of this boss fight. Um, basically, this boss has... Um, where is it? There it is. He's got a, a spell that is extremely likely to one-shot you if he casts it. Um, and it's not very easy to stop him from casting it unless you're already in his face, especially if you're using a slower weapon like this one. That doesn't mean we can't do it. We just got to be real careful and get a little bit lucky. Um... So yeah, that's that's what we're gonna do. That's not where we need to go. As you can see, he's fucking weird. Okay, cool. He did actually try to... Oh, level well, let You can hear him screech for a bit. So, yeah. Anyway, um... <laughs> he tried to cast the spell, but we, we interrupted him. Um, anyway, so we got it, it lifted the bridge, and now we can go further in. Um, I believe when we go further in, we will actually be... We'll actually have to deal with another bell-ringing woman, but... Eh, whatever. You already saw how we handle that situation. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, to anyone who is, you know, agitated by me handling invasions in such an anticlimactic way, you know... I apologize. I don't mean to take the fun out of uh, watching this for you. Um, but I'm lazy, and, you know, invasions can take a while, and it, like I said before, the reward for them is just not enough. Like, oh, I can get one insight and some souls. I don't need one insight and some souls. I have 93,000 souls and 56 insights. <laughs> so, it just, you know, I, I just don't benefit from these things. Um, Oh, 
I believe I'm far enough that I can start collecting umbilical thirds now. How many do I have? Only one, right? Yeah, I know where to get another one. Hmm. I don't actually remember where most of them... Okay, wait. Uh, I know of one I think I can go get now. Oh, oh, okay. I know where to get two more. Okay, so we're going to do that. Um, uh, after we use these. So yeah, we're going to gain some levels. Go get some umbilical thirds. Uh, dunk on a brain. Uh, so we are done leveling up skill and endurance now on this character. The only things that will be increased now are vitality, uh, strength, and arcane. All three of these things are going to 50. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and equip that uh, anti-clockwise metamorphosis rune because it is useful. So we're going to put on Formless Oedin, Anti-Clockwise Metamorphosis, and we'll put on, we'll put on a Moon Rune. I think that's the 20% one, so that's, that's nice. We want that. We're taking off Impurity. We don't need it anymore. We only need it to fight Ludwig. Um, I usually don't use Covenant Runes in this game because none of them have a strong enough effect on gameplay to be worth using and also... It, sometimes they cause problems, like, you know, if you go to help somebody and you're a vile blood and they're an executioner, or vice versa, you'll be summoned as an adversary, which really just gums up the works. And it's like, yeah, you can make a joke out of it and fight each other for funsies, but it still wastes time in reference to what you are trying to, to, to do. It still works against the goal you're trying to accomplish, and that's the problem I have with it. So I usually don't use Covenant Runes at all on any of my characters. Um, okay, so let's think for a sec. What do we want to do now? I guess we push the rest of the way through the Nightmare. Um, we've got a lot of insight. Oh, you know what? Actually, yeah, I should buy some B-Split pellets. That's what I should be doing. Because now, with the Cosmic Eye Watcher badge, we can do that. Isn't that exciting? Um, having high insight actually lowers your maximum beasthood, which can reduce the efficacy of B-Split pellets. Um... Which is a bummer, but when we can buy Blood Rocks, we want to have enough insight to. So, or we want to not have to do a lot of work to get the insight needed to buy Blood Rocks. So, uh, we'll, we'll push the rest of the way through the Nightmare of uh, Mensis, and then we will call this episode, and in the next one, we will fight the boss. Wait, no, we gotta get Umbilical Thirds. Jesus, why didn't you guys remind me? Um, fuck, okay, so we gotta start with, uh, we'll do the one that's here because it's super easy. So, okay, yeah, uh, you may have noticed before, the whore was here, but now blood is here. Um, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go see what's up with her. Uh, now, full disclosure, um, this is something that we have to do in order to get an umbilical third. Um, so somehow, it is heavily implied, technically not confirmed, but what else could have fucking happened here? Um, that the whore gave birth to this fucking thing. Um, which is neat. Anyway, you gotta kill it to get an umbilical third. Um, for some reason, killing it kills her. There's no way to kill it without killing her. Even if you hit it from far... Like, here, I'll show you. Any, I believe any damage will kill it. Um, but even if you hit it from, like, far away with, like, a you know, single target projectile, like, let's say, a throwing knife, for example, um, it will still kill her. You see what I mean? I'm not sure why that happens, but, you know, I guess the devs just didn't 
they just wanted to make sure that she dies if it dies. I don't know why. Um, which is a bummer, but honestly, she seemed like she uh, wanted to die after that anyway, so. And a lot of the people you kill in this game are just freed from the nightmare, so, you know, perhaps that's what happened to her. We have no confirmation that that's what happened, but she's not a hunter, so she has no reason to delve back into the nightmare to try to help you. Um, characters like uh, Henrik and old hunter Yamamura can return to the nightmare temporarily to grant you aid against the beasts that try to kill you. Um, some of the bosses and stuff. Uh, which implies pretty pretty clear, you know, pretty clearly that yeah, this is, you know, that they're freed from the nightmare instead of just dead because they can come the fuck back. Uh, in addition, when you are killed by Garman, um, shit, that's a big ass spoiler. I'm an idiot. All right, well, I'll put a spoiler alert in the fucking description. I apologize, I forgot. But anyway, skip this whole goddamn shebang if you don't want to. Do whatever. Um, so. Uh. Yeah, there's, there's a way for you to be killed in which you are freed from the nightmare. So yeah, there's a lot of implications that come with uh, killing folks. Uh, and not all of them are bad. So yeah, it is possible that you freed the whore from the nightmare instead of just ending her life, but it's also possible that you just ended her fucking life. Don't know, don't care. Needed the umbilical thread. <laughs> Um, oh, we will not actually be beating the game with this character, by the way. Um, like Full disclosure. I have a tendency to not beat the game with most of my characters. I have beaten the game with my main character, but um, you don't get anything for going into New Game Plus, so if I don't need the rewards that come specifically from the final bosses, I just don't bother. Um, I'm fucking lazy. Uh, if it is absolutely vital, if folks are screaming for it in, in the comments that they want me to actually beat the game with this character, they want to see Zoas' adventure... Through to the end, um, I'll, I'll do it. I'll upload my save and then do it so you guys can see it. And then I'll download my save so that uh, I'm not still doing it. I don't, I don't want to be in New Game Plus. It's a waste of time. In my opinion, you know, I have absolute respect for players who go into New Game Plus and do it for the challenge. I don't give a fuck about the challenge. Um, until you get to, like, New Game Plus 2 or 3, the chalices are harder anyway. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we're going to go all the way back to the first floor sick room because there's someone we want to pay a visit to. I apologize if anyone can hear me typing. I'm, uh... I'm actually talking to, best messaging on Discord the person who may soon be my editor. Uh, very, very cool person. Um, a good worker. I will be, you know, th that person will be not new to editing, but new under my employ. Um, and I'm quite fond of that person. I've known that person since I was, oh, geez, pretty young, probably like 19, I think. Um, I'm not positive about that, but I've known that person for a long time. Wow, my dude really just tried to fucking use the grab out of nowhere. You deserve to get Charge r 2 my guy. I hate the fact that they can just do a super armor grab out of nowhere and steal your insight. Uh... But... Whatever. Um, after we after we pay that person a visit, um, we would. Do I even need to be tricking this weapon? No. <laughs> okay. So at present, the fire adds about fifty percent damage, but at least approximately. But yeah, we don't have any nourishing gems yet. So we only have one, and it's only like nine percent. So as we get our hands on some better nourishing gems, we'll be able to improve the performance of this weapon pretty significantly when it's transformed. Uh, I forgot I already went this way. Sorry. So this is going to be. I think this will be messy if I'm doing this too early, but I don't think it is. 
I don't think this is too early. I don't remember, but I'm, I'm almost positive that this is not too early. Uh, but we're tricking the boom hammer just in case. Oh, yeah, it's not too early. Okay. Oh, so she just repeats her dialogue. Anyway, like the last person who has an umbilical third, she got the die. Um, is there anything else going on in here? I can't remember. I don't think there's anything important. Woeful woman. Man, fuck her. She's not cool. Woeful woman, my ass. Woman waits ahead. Time for use of terrain. Oh, people are actually fighting her? I'm pretty sure if you fight her, you can't get the umbilical thirds, so... I mean, it, full disclosure, there is four umbilical thirds in this game. Don't ask me how that works, but there's four of them. And just using three of them um, allows you access to this game's true ending. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess we would call it a true ending. Um, so yeah, um, if you accidentally put yourself in a position where you can't get one of them... Um, there's three more, so you're, you can miss out on one and still be okay. Um, however, if you do something like encounter that person, uh, too early and end up fighting them, or you, and also you do something like forget to save the whore in the earlier parts of the game, you lose access to these things. Um, because now you only have two thirds. Um, that said, the two... Uh, the remaining two that you, you, it's not possible to, well, I mean, it's possible to miss out on them if you're not looking for them, but you can't, like, put yourself in a position where now you're fucked and you can't get them. Um, as long as you don't beat the game, you can, you can go get them. Alright, um, do I have, nope, okay, so, yeah, now that we've done that, we'll, uh, the next thing we're gonna do is, is progress through the Nightmare of Mensis, so I think we're gonna call it there. Bye-bye. See you next time.